Welcome to the CL3D InfraWorks CL3D Interoperability Story. Now we are on AutoCAD CL3D where it is easy to collect different types of data for a land site that we want to redevelop and make a detailed design of infrastructure and land uses. Here, for instance, we have this georeferenced aerial photo and two GIS feature classes for green areas and buildings. We'll import a point file to create a model of land surface. Thus it is ready. In a 3D view we can see a small feature in the northwest part of our area. Of course, before creating a precise design and a project documentation, we need to develop some general vision how this area should look after the project has been completed. For that we have Autodesk InfraWorks, a very efficient and at the same time quite simple software product. This is why we will export this civil 3D file to the IMAX format. This is an exchange format for InfraWorks. And now we are in Autodesk InfraWorks. First we will import the MX file we just created with AutoCAD Civil 3D to get the land surface. We will see that InfraWorks quite correctly rebuilds surfaces. We will add the aerial photo. To place it correctly, we only need to assign a coordinate system to which it was referenced. It is automatically draped over the surface. Now we will import the feature class for buildings. For its configuration we need to correctly define the data type. If we want to display slopes of the roofs, we have to select the corresponding attribute from the source data table. We will also decide to drape the features of the surface. Some of them are outside it. We will simply select and delete them. To make the buildings look more realistically, we will select all the features and apply some facade style for them. We can define any selection of features to edit their properties and parameters, for instance heights. Now we'll take any individual building to change its facade style and assign some roof material to it. And we'll also regulate its height. Next, we'll add the green areas. We'll configure this new feature class in a similar way. For the style, we'll use some kind of trees. And then we'll set the spacing between the trees, the variance of the spacing, and apply some scale factors for sizes of the trees. Nearby we have collected all the initial data we have at this point for our land site. And now we'll try to make something new. For instance, we'll sketch a road to improve the accessibility of this area. InfraWorks automatically builds slopes from a road to the land surface.
The road is located on two high elevations. To remedy this problem, we'll simply add a point to its profile and place this point lower. Then we'll import a model of building from Autodesk Revit. It may be too large because probably it was built in some other units, for instance in feet, whereas we are now doing everything in meters. To solve this problem, we'll simply apply some scale factors, for instance 0 0.3. We'll slightly move this building and then rotate it. Suppose that it will be an office center. We'll sketch a land parcel for this building. To get rid of fillets on the corners, we'll simply add more vertices. Suppose that we want to cover this land parcel, but the current style doesn't support this. We don't like it. To remedy this problem, we'll simply copy this current style and then we'll remove the outline from this copy and on the contrary we'll add some fill. Thereby we have created a new style. And we'll apply it to the land parcel. Next we'll sketch a road across this land parcel and connect it to the main road. Inferverse automatically creates intersections of roads. We will add a small water body in front of the building. We will fix the most part of the parcel boundary with the stone fence. And here we will put a metallic semi-transparent fence. And finally we will place trees along the fence. And again we will set the spacing between these trees, the variance of this spacing, and assign some scale factors for sizes of the trees. We will export everything back to the IMAX format in order to use all this new data with AutoCAD Seal 3D. We can easily create remarkable animations with InfraWorks. There are different kinds of animations available with this program. Now we'll create a simple camera path animation. For that we'll take from 10 to 15 keyframes.
IntraWorks animations can be easily exported to common video formats. You can see video output from this animation just on my channel. Its name is an example of Autodesk IntraWorks video output. We have started to convert this animation to the AVI format. And then we'll go back to AutoCAD CL 3D. First we'll import the MX file we just created with Autodesk Infraworks. We'll delete all the needed objects. But the most important is that we have successfully imported the central line elements of the both roads we have created with Autodesk Infraworks. And furthermore, they are with profiles. We'll create intersections of these roads. For that, we'll specify parameters of roads participating in these intersections. For instance, their widths. AutoCAD CL 3D automatically creates lines where slopes from a road meet the ground surface. In the same way we will create the second intersection. In such a way we have built a model of our road that can be a good and sufficient base to develop our project further, that is, to extract elevations, contour lines, volumes, to get profile use and section use and so on, that is, to complete the project. We'll stretch this model all over the center line alignment of the main road. The fields and the cuts are clearly seen in a 3D view. Thus, thank you for watching this video. You're welcome to comment it and to ask me any questions concerning AutoCAD Civil 3D, AutoCAD Map 3D, AutoCAD Raster Design and Autodesk Infraworks.